Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be memory planning and this is for November 30th through December 6th. Um, and today I will be using my first Christmas kit of, I guess the season, even though the season's over. Um, and it's going to be this kit from Jackson Pepper. It's called Holiday Cheer and it's got um, a lot of these like neutral colors, but also very festive and very Christmassy, which I just thought was really cute. So with my kit came this little deco sheet and it's got some different like seasonal stickers on here and then we've got um, the full boxes and a Monday through Sunday box here we have the bottom washi and the date covers and also some let's see some little arrows we have some washi strips some flags um, on this page we have icons text stickers a weekend banner that looks really cozy we've got some um, bow check flags little things habit trackers and then this last page has the half boxes we've got different sized washi strips some quarter boxes and then some uh, foiled headers. These are really pretty. Um, so yeah, this is the kit that I'm going to be working with. I might need to pull in some boxes for my collection because there's not um, a lot of boxes included, but we'll kind of see because I don't know if I have these type of like really neutral colors. So I might just have to work with what I have. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to place down the bottom washi. Since this is so plain, I'm going to pull in some of the Simply Gilded Bow Washi. This one is a white background with the gold foiled bows and I just thought this might work nicely with this kit um, so yeah we'll just kind of see how it goes this washi ended up being so hard to put down because I did have to white out the lines in my planner and for some reason my whiteout was just being really uncooperative I'm just speeding through this really quickly so we can move on um, but yeah I did decide to use that simply gilded washi in the bottom I just thought it spiced up that bottom washi section and I really like how that ended up turning out um, and once I'm done placing down the washi on both sides I go ahead and move to my sidebar for this week I did not have a quote box so I decided to write one in myself and I decided to use the quote, tis the season in one of these full boxes. And I just go ahead and write that with my Paper Mate Inkjoy gel pen in 0 0.5, which is the one I'm using for this week. I placed on a bow header to separate out the quote box with the rest of the sidebar. And then I used a habit tracker to track my working out. Um, I placed down a flag sticker for my happy moments and a little things for my dinners. And I placed down the Monday through Sunday box as well as the one full box checklist that came with the kit um, in my sidebar. For my happy moments, I decided to use a gold foiled bow from Hazel Sticker. And once I'm done with my sidebar, I go ahead and place down all of my date covers. Um, for this week, I decided to pull in these date dots from Nikki Plus 3. I had them left over from, I believe, last week's kit. So yeah, I just go ahead and place them all down. Um, and then I move on to Monday. To start Monday, I first placed down a bow header and I wanted to mark that I made a pumpkin spice Dalgona coffee. I just made my regular Dalgona with a little bit of pumpkin spice powder in it um, and it was so good. I really, really loved doing that for the fall. That coffee cup sticker I placed down is from Hazel Sticker. It's so pretty and foiled. And then I was so tired on Monday because it was the first day back from Thanksgiving break. Um, so my sleep schedule had been all messed up and so I was just so tired having to wait up at 6 a.m. again. Um, that tired mochi sticker is from Mochi Kichi. And then I don't think I did a whole lot on Monday. So to help take up some space, I used a little things and marked something that I did for work that day. On Monday, we had our home inspection as part of escrow. And to mark that, I decided to use a half box and this like glasses sticker. That's from the Pretty Pink Co, I believe. And I just thought that was kind of perfect to mark an inspection. And um, then underneath that, I go ahead and place down a full box. At the very end of the night, we had a ton of escrow paperwork to fill out as part of our home buying process. And I pulled in this notebook paper sticker and that's from a shop called Moonlight Paper Co. Um, those stickers were actually gifted to me, so I'm not quite sure if this shop is open anymore. Moving on to Tuesday, I first started by placing down a get it done sticker at the very top. It's like one of those really pretty foiled headers. And then I used an arrow sticker from the kit to mark that I had a really busy testing day on Tuesday. Um, work was just busy as always this time of the year. Um, and then to mark a meeting that I had, I placed down that laptop sticker, which is from Nicole Hutch Designs. 
Underneath that, I placed down a full box and I chose this one with the mittens, which I thought was so cute um, because I actually have mittens that look like that. And for some reason, when I was filming this, my hair kept getting in the way. Like my hair was just so crazy that day for some reason and it just kept popping into the frame. So I'm so sorry about that. Um, I have been a lot more careful not to move too close into the frame um, in my next video. So hopefully that's not so much of a problem. But anyways, I just wanted to mention that. Um, that IEP meeting stick I put down is from Hazel sticker and then that box sticker I placed down is from GT girls designs I use that to mark getting a Christmas package in the mail that day at the very bottom I used a little things to mark that I played Stardew Valley um, which is this little game on my phone that I've been really enjoying and then oh my gosh there's my hair again so sorry about that but anyways I used that quarter box to mark having more paperwork to fill out for escrow it was just so much stuff to sign but we were very lucky that a lot of it was just electronic which made it a lot easier um, and then moving on to Wednesday on Wednesday I first placed down a bow header and then I used a full box at the very bottom Moving to the top, I used a washi strip to mark a morning meeting that I had, and that bow paper clip sticker is from Sticky Fingers Co. And then underneath that, I used another washi strip with a taco sticker from Plans with Finesse to mark that I got Del Taco for lunch that day. I had two IEP meetings back to back. So the first one I marked using a flag and I just wrote IEP in the center of that flag. And then the second one, I used another gold foiled IEP sticker from Hazel sticker. Luckily they were both pretty easy meetings. So it wasn't like too much to have them back to back. When I got home that day, I finally did a workout. Oh my gosh, these workouts are so hard to come by these days. Um, I just have not been feeling motivated at all. That shoe sticker is from Paper Muse Crafts. And then I painted my nails that night, which I wanted to mark. So I pulled in this really cute nail polish sticker, and I think that's from Planning Like a Pro. Moving on to Thursday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then underneath that, I used a washi strip and that today's script sticker is from Artbox Stickers, but her shop is currently closed and I don't know if she's planning to reopen. So I'm super bummed about that. The quarter box that I placed down was to mark a meeting and then I had another IEP that afternoon so I used a flag and wrote in IEP again, which is similar to what I did on Wednesday. After work, I went and grabbed some gas and I also got home late that day just because I was at work for a really long time. Um, that cute little car sticker is from Nicole Hutch Designs. And then at the end of the night, I just edited a plan with me. So I used this like large laptop sticker, which I'm pretty sure was from my leftover stash. So not sure what shop that's from. Um, the foiled edit sticker I do know is from Randy.plans. That concludes Thursday, so I'm just moving on to Friday now. For Friday, I first started by placing down a half box. The meeting script sticker is from Hazel Sticker, and then I just put the time of my meeting at the very top. I wanted to mark that I got Panda Express for lunch that day, which is one of my favorite fast food meals. Um, so I decided to mark that using a little things that had like the meal icon on it. And then I had another IEP meeting that Friday. So I used a half box with that IEP script from Hazel Sticker. Unfortunately, on Friday, we got some really sad news that a family member was being placed into hospice care. And, um, you know, it was just really hard cause it's, you know, we're nearing the holidays and, um, with COVID nobody was allowed to visit or say goodbye. So yeah, it was just some really sad news. Um, that emoji is from the coffee monsters co. And I basically just, you know, I don't know. I feel like I was so numb. I just played my phone game and just had some beer and then watch some TV at the end of the night. So that's pretty much all I marked. I didn't do a whole lot. Um, that beer sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and the foiled TV icon is from the Pretty Pink Co. Moving on to the weekend, um, I first placed down the weekend banner at the very top. I just go ahead and lay it across Saturday and Sunday. And then I started Saturday by placing down a full box. Um, then I decided to go ahead and place down the full box that I wanted to use on Sunday also. Um, I ended up like using this washi strip to cover up the gray header on my planner. Moving back to Saturday, I used a foiled header and a washi strip to mark that I FaceTime my best friend that morning. I just 
you know, really needed to talk and just seek comfort with everything going on. Um, that phone icon I think is from the Pretty Pink Co or Paper Muse Crafts. I'm not quite sure. Um, and then I did a ton of cleaning that day. So I marked that using a vacuum icon from Hazel Sticker. We then went to Costco, so I used a grocery cart sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs, I believe. I have a lot of her little icons, which I love because they come in so many different colors. And um, at the very bottom, I had placed down that half box. Um, over that, I used a little bow icon. I think that's from White Deer Stationery, if I'm not mistaken. And I used that to mark doing some Pinterest that night. Um, I was like trying to find different like home decor ideas. So I was just Pinteresting all of these ideas on how I can decorate my new home. On Sunday, I first placed down a bow header and then I decided to use this gold foiled leaf icon. This is from Simply Said Life. And I used that to mark that our family member had passed away. And of course we were really heartbroken. I think the hardest part for both of us was um, just not getting to say goodbye. And that was just really tough. 2020 was just a really, really, really hard year as I'm sure it was for uh, many of you guys as well. But anyways, I'm sorry, like, you know, I haven't really been the most positive. I think these spreads have just been really hard for me to film and to talk about. So, um, I think that's kind of why I've been like dragging my feet because I'm like avoiding them. But moving on with the spread, we did make a call that day. Um, I don't wanna go into too much detail just for privacy reasons, but um, that phone sticker I placed down is from Planning Like a Pro. We then had a couple friends over and we did mahjong day and had some hot pot for dinner that night. Um, just a little something to kind of take our mind off of things and it was so good to see my friends. They're there for me when I need them and they make me feel so much better. So yeah, we were really hesitant to move forward with those plans, but I remember just being really glad that we did. That bow sticker came with the kit, and that is it for the actual plans part of this week. Um, I go ahead and move back to my sidebar to track all my happy moments and my dinners and my one workout, which is so sad. Um, so yeah, anyways, that is it for this week. I just go ahead and show you guys the stickers that I have left in this kit and also do the bib wiggle since I pulled in a lot of foils this week and um, now I'm just doing a walkthrough so you guys can see the foils a little bit better. I think it turned out so pretty. Um, I did end up pulling in quite a bit so it's very shiny and I feel like the spread's really hard to see on camera because of how light the colors are but um, I hope you guys can still appreciate it and enjoy it. Thank you guys so so much for being here and watching if you've made it all the way through. I know again I'm so behind. I'm still stuck in Christmas when we're literally in March but I just really appreciate those of you who are still here and um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys had a much better holiday season than I had but you know such is life and I don't know what the saying is but you know you can't have a rainbow without the rain so Anyways, that is it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have any questions for me, um, leave them down below. And um, yeah, with that, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.